picture and we're going to do the next section of our uh, Cricut uh, mini setup. So we're going to the uh, leaflet number two which says download design software and what it says is go to, uh, it gives you a website address and go down there and download the Cricut Craft Room design software. Now I have already done that and if you've already done that then you don't need to do it again. I would recommend before you proceed that you do check that there aren't any updates um, if you have already got it so that you have got the latest version. Number two says to load the drivers click and run and click through all the prompts. So we need to, uh, what I don't get actually is then it tells you to log in so clearly you can't do that and um, I think that must be something to do with the actual loading of it if you have the new, if you're downloading it for the first time, the software. So then it says three, log on to Cricut Craft Room, creating a new account if needed and follow the st uh, steps to make your first cut. Um, and again here it says don't connect the USB cable until prompted. And then also step four says when prompted continue to card three, which so we'll be doing that next. So we're gonna go now and log on to Cricut Craft Room. So I'm gonna open my Cricut Craft Room, which is just here. And I'm just going to sign in. Okay, so we're accessing my account, and there we are in Cricut Craft Room. Okay, so if you are on Cricut Craft Room and you go up to the top here, I think it's options or help, yeah, um, if you're going to help, it has on there a Cricut Mini First Cut. So I would suggest that that's where we need to go first. I'm just looking at this because it, it did say install drivers. So I'm wondering if I think we need to do that first because otherwise it won't cut. So let's do that Cricut Mini driver. I think we're still doing card two because I think this is what it's talking about I'm not 100% sure but I can't think this is going to be a wrong thing to do so we're on setup because it did say on card two to install the drivers it didn't particularly tell you how to do it but it is as I say on um, where we went just up here and then follow the instructions and it says completing the driver wizard finish um, and it seems to be that seems to be all it needs going back to help Cricut Mini first cut, click on that. Please connect the Cricut Mini machine. So this is what it was talking about, about don't connect it until it tells you to. So I'm gonna take the USB cable, this end, and connect it to my computer. And then I'm gonna take this end, which is the square end, and connect it to the Mini in that set, the hole that I showed you earlier, the plug socket that I showed you earlier at the back of the machine. Connected, so we're just gonna say okay. It probably needs me to switch it on. And if you can see down the bottom here, it's saying it's installing the driver. Detail, uh, software so it's just dealing with all that so I just switched the machine on and it's coming up here Cricut Mini uh, driver software is installed successfully and then it's saying try your Cricut Mini with your first cut so then we hit continue so this is uh, card 2 where we've installed the drivers so now we're going to be moving on to card 3 in our little welcome booklet which is making our first cut. Okay. 